Well, thanks to viewer Jerome, who sent us this next story with the subject line, no more need for live podcasters. So it looks like robots are taking our jobs. Jerome pointed to this PC Magazine piece on Liarbird, software that claims to be able to recreate anyone's voice with just one minute of audio tape. You can also design your own voice. And Liarbird's GPU clusters generate 1,000 sentences in less than half a second for real-time voice generation. You can also synthesize the emotion to create a voice that sounds angry or stressed or even sympathetic. So if you have a hard time showing compassion towards someone and you want to fake it, this is software just for you. <laughs> Liarbird addresses the ethical issues the software brings up and says that by releasing the technology publicly and making it available to anyone, they hope to mitigate risks the software creates. So we should listen to some, they have uh, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, uh, Barack Obama, I don't know um, if- Of course they went the political route with all these examples. <laughs> mm -hmm. On the first link that- I'm not that... a robot, my intonation is always different. <laughs> I am not a robot, my intonation is always different. <laughs> I am not a robot, my intonation is always different. <laughs> I am not a robot, my intonation is always different. So I am not a robot. Sounds like Donald Trump. It definitely different. sounds robotic. It's got a little bit of that kind of like glassy quality to it that voice synthesis mm -hmm. seems to have. But yeah, there's a lot of really identifiable characteristics. Like it's certainly not at spitting image territory quite mm -hmm. yet. But if they're there now, mm -hmm. this is really going to be something crazy. I imagine it's not going to take very long to get to a point where it's going to be pretty darn believable. Well, yeah. Information is always different. Who's that? Uh, Obama. Obama here. I'm not a robot. My nation is always different. <laughs> I'm not a robot. My nation is always it's a, different. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like they're eating like marshmallows or something <laughs> and trying to talk. It sounds <laughs> like they've been drinking heavily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there, there were longer form examples. I think if you go to the article, the PC Mag article, okay. there's one there where they're just talking. Go to the, the second one on the page. That gives you more of a sense of like sentence, you know, longer sentences and, and kind of, I don't know, man. This it, one? Uh, uh, yeah, try that one. Let's hear that one. You heard about this new technology. Are you speaking about this new algorithm to copy voices? Yes, it is developed by a startup called Liarbird. This is huge. They can make us say anything, now really anything. The good news is that they will offer the technology to anyone. This is huge. All right, I can't do this anymore. Works. It's it's making my brain hurt. Um, super fa Like I'm fascinated by this. I'm also frightened of it. Be right. For for the potential of what can be done when you can impersonate a voice and have it not be. Um, you know, not be able to tell the difference between the real thing. Right. And Liarbird says, you know, well, then these, sh these shouldn't be used as evidence, you know, so I don't know what their point is exactly. Like, we shouldn't be able to, like, listen to our president speak I, and be able to trust what he says. Well, you know? yeah, right. Like they say, OK, so um, we realize that this will, you know, create distrust in anything you ever hear anymore. So what we've decided to do is put it out for everyone to have access to. Mm -hmm. Like I read that. I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense because now. But their point being that trust no at one least, at least that way you know that it can be done which further goes down that that weird rabbit hole of equals don't ever trust anything you hear anymore mm -hmm. and that's a really scary world however thought experiment i was trying to think of this how does how does this differ from photoshop because photoshop can do some really amazing things with pictures and it can create scenes that look 100 percent believable but yet it hasn't had this kind of impact. Like there, there hasn't been a picture that I'm, I'm trying to think of any examples off the top of my head, like in a political realm of someone in a place that they weren't actually, but the photo was so real that nobody trusted that the picture wasn't real. You know what I mean? But that's what they're saying. What I would imagine could happen here that you hear someone saying something that they never actually said, but there's no way to prove that they did or they didn't. Why is it different between visual and audio well can't you always prove a photo is photoshopped like just for the element looking at the elements of the photos you could see that there's layers there yeah maybe so um, i mean i guess i guess the right the right trained eye yeah like this is obviously not real oh come what? on it's, it's okay this is the, i would definitely did not have my shirt off next to a swimming pool okay. brian <laughs> wrong show sure. brian oh, right. he swims he swims with a shirt on always <laughs> <laughs> yes uh i don't know i just I, but I, I think there's a lot of potential for crazy, weird, yeah. bad things. 
But well, maybe that's just my fear of technology. I don't know. I think that audio and video that uh, is edited in a certain way can already prove that, you know, you know, can also already be false. Like yeah. we're, you know, we think, no, oh, true. live, live streaming. And it's true that live streaming is great and has brought our attention to things that we previously would not have uh, been able to see. But you don't know what happened right before and you don't know what happened right after. So it's not the full story. Audio, I'm thinking in particular, there were some audio tape of Hillary Clinton like in the 70s and it was edited in a way to make her look like she was laughing uh, at right. you know a, a rape victim when in actuality she was laughing at the political the legal system and how it worked I think that we we've, we're already way beyond um, you know being able to edit just people's uh, video or audio to make it tell a story that we want it to, tell. It to yeah, tell yeah so um, but yeah, it's interesting that they say, like, yeah, basically they are saying what you say. Trust no one. So You can't trust anything you hear anymore. Uh, but we're happy that you're listening to this show.